Sometimes all you need is a pretty planner to have motivation for the day. Today, I'm going to show you how I set up my Notion dashboard. This setup does not use widgets, though I do show you how to add some if you like, and has everything you need to stay organized and on schedule. If you enjoy this video, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and like, and I will get to it. So first I started by giving my dashboard a title, I named mine dashboard, but you can name yours whatever you like, and I found the aesthetic wallpaper that I wanted to use. You can reposition the wallpaper by pressing the reposition button and scaling it the way you like. Next, I'm going to show you one of the most crucial things in Notion using the slash command. So press slash and a list of commands will pop up. I use the slash heading three in order to write all of my headings in this selection. And as similar to how you would write on Google Docs or Word, you can still use the slash italics or slash bold commands depending on what computer you're using. To alter the text without using those commands, you can just highlight the text and then a list of options will pop up. I like to use this green background option for most of my titles. To move and create columns, you're going to want to grab the selected text and drag it until you see that little green bar on the right or left of the section. This will create a multitude of columns. You can have as many columns as you like. I generally would say six to three and three looks aesthetically pleasing. To change the view of your dashboard, click those three dots in the right hand corner and they have a multitude of different selections. I like to go with small text, full width, and change the font to serif. Then I went around rearranging things, finding some GIFs. You can just find your GIF here. I just chose this because it matches the vibe and then use that slash command to find an insert image, not insert video because GIFs are technically images. And you're going to want to insert that image uh, pressing upload instead of pressing copy link i tried copy link like four times it doesn't work but once your gif fully renders it should start moving as normal and then rearrange things as you wish i like to play with my notion setup a lot so remember it's not going to be straightforward then press that plus button one more time and here's how you enter your calendar so press that plus button scroll down to calendar database and then full entire calendar will pop up you can even create this into your own sheet if you like but i just like to have it as a visual reminder rather than an actual database after that i just added some borders you can do that by pressing slash divider and i just added empty text boxes to create that space just for i don't like it when everything's grouped together i don't know so here are my extra add-ons that aren't necessarily important like my spotify playlist and my page tab so you're going to want to start by creating the pages you want for your quick links i created one for school work and home and really make sure you're picking cute icons because these will be the icons that display on your dashboard after that, open up the list of commands and do not press page. I got fooled multiple times. Scroll down and press mention a page and then your list of pages that already exist will pop up. I added some pages and dividers just to make it look aesthetically pleasing. And there you have an entire queue and like database to click on your quick links or to find things and navigate a little bit easier. There's a multitude of options. You can even highlight, copy them or turn into different things. I just like to leave it as a default option because I feel like you're doing too much. Now you may have seen me open an embed screen and you're probably confused, but that's how you enter a Spotify playlist or song. To do that, press share playlist and then go to embed and then copy that embed link into the embed command command <laughs> and it'll insert for you. And then I just went ahead and added some extra things. I wanted to have a quote, so I entered the quote command and I copied and pasted some cliche quote that made me feel a little bit better about myself. And here is my kind of final dashboard look. I wanted to keep it pretty minimal and pristine and I'm just just kind of trying i'm struggling right now i'm like recording this at like 11 but anyways um now i'm trying to show you how i use the calendar the calendar has a multitude of things you can have reminders and aesthetically pleasing tags if you want depending on how busy your schedule is but this is what the final dashboard looks like once you're done now for all my people who like to use widgets, here are the two main websites I use. So the first thing you can do is just type in Notion widgets and App Notion I don't really like to use because it has way too many widgets and it kind of overwhelms me. But of course, any widget you can possibly think of, you can find on App Notion. And similarly to how we inserted the Spotify embed, you're basically going to embed these widgets into your dashboard or your database. 
The next one I like to use is Indify. There's not as many widget options as you can see, but they're so much more simpler and less overwhelming. And anything you could possibly need for your dashboard or any other project is here. They have better customizable interface as in like you have more options and also just to have the simple things that you may need and again just press that embed command like we did for spotify copy the link they give you and insert and you're done hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions if i wasn't like you know explaining enough feel free to drop them in the comments below and i will answer them i kind of just stare at my comments all day and i will see you next time bye